I appreciate the questions regarding the cohort grouping within the course. I always consider your requests and am open to making adjustments, just as long as those adjustments add to the learning environment. I've also explored these ideas with my co-developer, and we both agreed that the design is effective in bringing you together. We want you to explore a community potluck idea to help understand how the course can work. Now, I'm old enough and also grew up in the country, so community potlucks were a really big deal. These events started in the late afternoon and went on into the wee hours. People arrived at many, many different times. Now, my mom hated these events because by her own choice, she stuck very close to a group of people that she knew um, and was familiar with. In contrast, my dad liked to move around the room, talk to everyone that was there and had a great time. I think my mom despised the fact that my dad was out getting to know new people while she was stuck with the same group of people in the same area. This was my mom's choice though. Other than helping out with setting up the food and then helping with the cleanup, she did have the flexibility to move around and meet with others. These potlucks went on for hours, so my mom did have plenty of time, but she didn't. Now, as a kid, I thought my mom was just being angry and wanted to give my dad a hard time. But now I realize she simply went to a familiar group of people that she knew and, and hung out with them and didn't do anything else. Perhaps it was fear of the unknown or simply the comfort of the known, but it was her choice, yet she wasn't happy about the experience. You actually have a similar choice in this type of a course. Consider it a big potluck or a buffet. Now, don't get caught up in hanging out with just those people you arrived with. Also, just because you started at the same time as a few others, you don't need to limit yourself to just working with that group of people. We know from the literature and from our experience that there is a tendency for people to go to what they know. Now, if you only have one thing in common, which is a start date, that's a bit of a comfort. And if you're not careful, that bit of comfort can also hinder you. This is why we don't publish the list of who started when or even use the notion of the cohort of what people are in. The continuous intake model, if used effectively, will put you and all other people in a position of working with others who started at different times, and it's going to push some people out of their comfort zones. Some of you may be thinking or questioning this idea. Shouldn't we be making the environment a safe learning environment? Yes, we should, but a safe learning environment is one that respects people, their diversity, and ensures that they have the freedom to be who they are and have the safety to learn. A safe learning environment isn't free from cognitive dissonance. An effective learning environment uses the tension, uncertainty, anxiety that come from cognitive dissonance as part of the learning process. This tension, anxiety, and even frustration that come out of authentic learning experiences is crucial for deeper learning. Safe learning environments focus on safety for learning, for experimentation, exploration, and even failure. Yes, failing forward or error correction is fundamental to deeper learning, and this will push many out of their comfort zones, but in a good and controlled manner. This is the type of environment that we are striving to create. So if you view the course from a potluck analogy, we are encouraging you to move beyond the group that you coincidentally arrived with and join in with all the interesting people at the event and work collaboratively as you explore, experiment, and engage in deeper learning. If you want to engage in deeper learning, then you'll need to get comfortable with a bit of cognitive dissonance. Don't worry, you'll get used to pushing beyond your comfort level. This is a small price to pay for deeper learning, growth, and development.